MPGN is a term that is sometimes used to describe two rare kidney diseases, IC-MPGN and C3G. IC-MPGN is short for immune complex membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis. C3G is short for C3 glomerulopathy. There are two types of C3G, C3GN, which stands for C3 glomerulonephritis, and DDD, which stands for dense deposit disease. The terms IC-MPGN, C3G, C3GN, and DDD are terms you may not have heard before. Prior to 2013, doctors called all these diseases MPGN. That stands for membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis, types 1, 2, or 3, also known as mesangiocapillary glomerulonephritis. If your doctor told you that you have MPGN in the past, they'll now use IC-MPGN, or C3G, to be more precise, since there are differences between the two. These diseases happen when your immune system is overactive and causes a buildup of protein in the kidneys that damage the glomeruli. Glomeruli are the tiny filters in your kidneys that clean your blood. This lowers your kidneys' ability to filter waste and fluid from your blood. Over time, typically within five to 10 years of diagnosis, this can lead to kidney failure in about half of adults. Kidney failure is also called end-stage renal disease or end-stage kidney disease. If this happens, you'll need to go on dialysis or have a kidney transplant. A kidney transplant, however, is not a cure. The underlying IC-MPGN and C3G will eventually cause the transplanted kidney to fail. Signs and symptoms of IC-MPGN and C3G include blood or protein in your urine and high blood pressure. You may notice urine that is dark in color, cloudy or foamy, and that you urinate less often than usual. You may also notice edema, which is swelling in your legs or other parts of your body. If you've been diagnosed with C3G or IC-MPGN, talk to your doctor about your options to participate in a clinical trial. Learn more about ways to slow down kidney damage at kidneyfund.org.